What's good, neighborhood? You're back in the lab with your favorite neighbor, your man, Mark Nash. He is I. I am he. Another great episode of Breaking Beats. How y'all feel? What's the damn deal? All right, let's talk about it. All right, so rapper Cameron is facing a copyright lawsuit after placing a photo of himself on some Dipset merch. Now, I know y'all thinking, Mark Nash, why is he getting sued for using a picture of himself? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. I will. He's using his own likeness has gotten Cameron into a legal battle. Billboard is reporting that the Harlem rapper has been hit with a copyright lawsuit for allegedly using the popular 2003 photo of himself in his pink mink coat on the Dipset merchandise without clearing it with the photographer uh, Jamelia Cochran. I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but I'll put it on the screen. My bad. Put a case on me. On April 11th, the outlet details that Cochran filed a complaint that Cameron used the photo without permission. They say he's, Cameron's been using this photo on Dipset products like shower curtains, pillows, swimsuits, socks. <laughs> What's more? Hold up. If you got a Cameron come home with me pink uh, shower curtain, bro, I got to put a case on you. All right, but that's neither here nor there. But they said, uh, Cameron been promoting these products on Instagram for years. Now, prior to the filing of the lawsuit, Cameron was reportedly notified multiple times that he was not authorized to use the photo of himself. Quote, Getty Images notified the defendants of their infringement activities by mail and email on multiple occasions. End quote. Cochran's lawyers wrote that in the outlet and they said, despite these notifications, Cameron keeps on selling the merchandise. <laughs> And um, he keeps posting a photograph on the website and on his accounts. Now, Cameron's failure to stop using this might get him in a little trouble. Could get some financial, you know, some financial damages here. Uh, copyright, this copyright lawsuit that Cameron facing, though, is not new. I don't know if y'all remember. It was a hip hop photographer. His name is Al Pereira. He filed a lawsuit against Nas for po posting a photo on Instagram. It was a picture of Nas, Tupac, Red Man. This was of July 1993. And Nas posted this in 2020. But Pradera had just copyrighted the image three years earlier. And according to the phot photographer, he said Nas was profiting from the work, using it to increase his social media status and, and actually devalued the work by, you know, making it so easily available on his Instagram. I don't know how that lawsuit turned out. Y'all leave me a comment. Y'all let me know if y'all know what happened with that case. But, um, yeah, I don't know if it's still going. Did Nas win that lawsuit? Did he lose the lawsuit? Y'all leave me a comment. Let me know. But um, y'all leave me a comment on this also. And let me know, how do you feel about rappers getting sued for using pictures of themselves uh, on their merch or using pictures of themselves, you know, even posting it on their Instagram? Like, Come on, man. You saw Nas posting the picture on his Instagram? It never heard of it. <sighs> That's crazy. It'll make some people not want to give people access um, or make them say, hey, well, I need you to sign a waiver that I own all these photos. I get first right refusal or something. So this could go bad, but I don't know. But I get it. Uh, if you take these pictures, you own these pictures, like you do want your work to be copyrighted you do want to own your work you do want that it to have some value uh, you don't want to be erased from the history right like this is your work so i get it i can see both sides of the spectrum but y'all leave me a comment let me know what y'all think of the story it's your man mark nash breaking beats um let me add this one caveat according to professional photographers of america's website an amendment of the copyright law was added in 1988 that protects ph photographers from having their work stolen um, plus, they're the only ones who have the right to do whatever they choose with their work. So even if you are in the picture, you don't own the picture. All right. Y'all leave me a comment. Let me know what y'all think of the story. It's your man, Martin Nash, Breaking Beats. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.